I'm on to item six, personnel actions. Let me pull that up. So it's, um, it's sort of a request for Ms. Harrell. You've been um, doing a great job of now telling us on the personnel actions who, um, what, what the uh, certification status is of the, the individuals, and, and I appreciate that. And I guess I, I, if my other uh, board members agree, would like to request that, that you also have a short description of why we're hiring the particular person that we're hiring. I mean, it could just be filling a vacancy for the chemistry teacher or um, just so we have the, the context. Yeah. Um, on, on this um, hire, uh, um, uh, my two questions, well, I see that's a temporary position, uh, number one, and that may be, and so why are we hiring this person? Why is it temporary? It's probably the same answer. They're filling, I, I'm guessing it's Ms. Comets or, uh, you know, no, it's not our maternity leave or some. Project. You have to press mute and hold the button down. Yeah, till it turns green. There were a number of staff absences at mm -hmm. one school site due mm -hmm. to staff illness. And those absences were extended absences. So as a precaution and to, to work with ensuring that students had some structured teaching stability in place for this year. I think it was back in August we approved a temporary teacher mm -hmm. because we just weren't certain what our staffing circumstances would be this year. So events, things have evolved such that right now we have experienced an extended absence and there's uncertainty about that return. So this temporary teacher is coming on board just for the balance of this school year to fill in that temporary absence and just simply to be a presence on site as those extended absence needs arise for those So is, is this the same person that we approved in the position for in August? It's the same position, position that was yeah. approved, but we haven't needed but to we fill didn't, it we didn't, we didn't fill until it. now. That's I right. see. And are we filling this position for the remainder of the year? Yes. Because we anticipate needing this person the remainder of the year for, for the particular um, extended leave that we're experiencing, or are there other ones that might come there up? Others, there are other things, there are other circumstances in place that we feel, we believe that we will need that, that act, that teacher to fill in for some extended periods of time. Okay. I mean, I, I defer to the staff on managing the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. absences and coverage, but, um, I guess I'm just mindful of not wanting to hire, a, um, you know, effectively a, a, a sub if we don't have ongoing work for the person to be filling in for. The circumstances have evolved such that it's, I can talk to you more specifically about mm -hmm. the specific circumstances. I just can't do it in this forum. Sure. Mm -hmm. But circumstances such that the, that there's a presence needed for an actual teacher. And what, so we need to bring someone on full time through the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, uh, the biggest concern has to do with continuity for students. Right. That we were unable yeah. to have last, last year, year. And we identified this as a need and want to make sure that that happens this year. Right. Thank um, you. Any other questions on this particular one? <coughs> six, item six? Is that you had questions? No, that, uh, no. Remember. Great. I mean, so yeah, in the future you can just um, yeah, brief description. Is that something or connected that connected to? Um, I assumed it was for that reason, so I'm mm -hmm. glad you said it. But then I don't have to assume. Because what if I were wrong? I could have yeah. been wrong. So yeah, something that no, is helpful. suitable for the public too to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Anything else? Mm -hmm. 